Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point and this is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about shadow DOM in Playwright. <clears throat> Before starting this video and I am uh, first I am going to ask you everybody like sorry why means last couple of days I am not uploaded any video because uh, starting I started the Playwright after that I my health is completely disturbed even my voice is not good but still i want to i don't want to stop you guys need to learn due to that i just i started again <clears throat> if you feel anything is bad the voice or something just let me know and i'll try to recreate one more time for the same video again okay first we are going to discuss now <clears throat> our topic <clears throat> shadow dom element how to find the shadow dom elements in playwright this basically what will happen shadow doms is nothing but it is not the same exact which we done for previous okay <clears throat> if you see here i'm going to show you there are two ways one is i'm going to show you without iframe okay uh, without iframe and another one is with the frame how we can able to handle see <clears throat> all of our private is basically it will help you to identify very quick to uh, uh, click for any element or finding any element in the shadow dom because private by default it will handle by the uh, shadow dom or root and if you inspect this particular one here you can able to see there is a shadow dom open shadow dom open okay how we can able to this is also open this is also open okay <clears throat> this is the head of the root entire page root we can able to identify by using the root shadow dom or you can able to directly identify our text box itself okay we can able to identify by using text <clears throat> id equal to input box but sometimes maybe if you are in the shadow dom application in your local it will be work but when you are working with an, uh, any other uh, <coughs> jenkins or uh, azure devops right that moment the shadow dom element which maybe it will not work sometime it will work as expected sometime it will not be work as expected okay because this is a shadow dom side some elements will be visible sometimes it it, it it will not be open it will be closed state if it is in a closed state right then you can't click this particular or you can you are able to send the information into that particular id okay there are two ways one normal way i'll show you and another one is shadow down the web element identification i'll show you you can able to use it when you are see that any failure uh, sometimes it is working sometimes it's failing uh, when you see the shadow dom then th this format you can apply then definitely it will work for you <clears throat> okay first we'll go for normal way directly i'm going to using this particular book okay i'll show you directly here i'm going to use it okay then i'm going to use it to printing this one input i'm going to take the because we have already id then i'm going to use for page dot locator locator and in the locator i'm going to use for id right id for css selector id you we can able to use for ash and i'm going to use for input and fill fill is basically to filling the information and i'm going to using for testing <clears throat> okay after that i'm going to use for time to sleep because we need to see whether we are able to fill the data into that particular one or not now we can able to see in this particular one whether we are able to fill the information or not If you run, you can able to fill the data by using directly ID also. Okay. 
any web element directly you can able to find by using CSS selector or export anything you can able to identify and you can able to fill the data. So testing is filled. Our test case is pass. Okay, when you are using for any JavaScript like uh, other than the playwright, if you are going to work with any Java, Selenium or <clears throat> Python, Selenium, this shadow DOM will not be work as expected on your, on your real time. Okay. When you are working in a local time, it will work for you. But when you are working for your <clears throat> remotely, that moment it will maybe it will fail. Okay, that moment when you fail, how we can able to handle even you can able to same format you can able to apply for Python with the Selenium also it will take for that. Okay. And how we can able to identify In the simple format there is a roots. Okay, here this is the root the book directory is there right this is a pair this is a child one because of here another root is there then this is also child. If you see here also one more root is there means it is also one child of our pass. And if it is after that there is no root is there because of this is a one parent. Okay, this is a parent remaining all are comes under child characters. Okay, then I am going to take for this particular book apps. Okay. Book apps. And I'm going to use it. <clears throat> okay, I took for this one. And now I'm going to what I can do, right? the child one in the parent what all the parent is presented inside the parent i'm going to using for css selector okay this a input okay <clears throat> input is having id then i'm going to use for one space after this braces just one space and hash and that i value okay now you maybe you are not able to find here because of this is not supporting as expected. Okay. Now just copy and if we can able to see here whether we are able to find this particular element by using our new CSS selector or not. Okay. Okay, now again I'm going to run. See, still it is able to find, but we are not able to find here because it is not supporting this format. For this, we have one uh, Chrome uh, <clears throat> Dev Tools handling by using Playwright. That is a one format is there that I will show you next video session time. Okay. There you can able to see in the playwright you can able to run for Chromium and there you can able to open dev tools and if you use a playwright, this is the one exactly you can able to identify by using the playwright uh, identification. There is a console is there in that console you can able to identify. Okay, that I'll show you in that particular video time. Okay. <clears throat> now this is the one format. Okay. Now we are able to uh, read up to here. Then if I want to read something, a text for this particular text, I want to display. If the text is presented in the parent, <coughs> this is my parent. In the parent, I want to find this particular text, whether it is able to display or not. How we can able to, because here we have the dev has a class. We can able to take the class path class indication for dot symbol okay and we can able to use for dot and we can able to identify and the same thing if you are using this particular element to identification and just you can able to say page dot locator and here you can able to paste it your our path and you can able to see now we are going to get the text for text we have for text content 
in a python okay python player right we have for text content this one what will happen which is a text we want to read we want to get that it will returns for that information i am going to use for text only the variable okay in that variable i am going to print this variable into a console okay now we can see now whether we are able to print that particular text is in our console or not you can see search the world most comparative in text full text books okay we are able to read we are able to get the text and we are able to send the information into that particular one this is the one format and we discussed it right there are the two ways i'm going to show with iframe sorry with frame and without frame now without frame i showed you and with frame i'm going to show you another format okay another url i'm going to take this particular url this is a selector hubs is there one website in there there is a this particular uh, text box is there right it is inside for <clears throat> frames it is presented if you inspect this particular one you can able to identify see uh, here you can able to see shadow dom it is presented here and you can able to see this entire dev name is there in the dev name is the root one and it is presented everything in down okay we can able to identify directly for this particular frame or we can able to identify for directly <clears throat> going to uh, first finding for the root then we are going to find for our this particular text box these are two ways any one we can able to do it okay because our playwright by default it will support for this shadow dom we can directly also we can able to use it okay and this is the one case i'm going to show you another one okay and for this i'm going to make it for this all as comment <clears throat> okay now i'm going to use it for my new url and this is also i'll make it for comment page dot go to and we can able to provide our url and then after providing url and we am going to find in this particular text box before finding the text box you can able to see and here it is the frame you can see our two text boxes highlighted when the frame is presented here okay and i'm just i'm going to take because our frame is having for id okay for that id I, we need to take for that locator first frame locator id then we based upon that we need to identify our th this particular element okay <clears throat> now for that page dot we have frame locator the frame locator we can able to provide which locator we are identified id id by using for css selector one hash okay and then we are going to using for in this particular element that is id input id that is this one glf for this we can directly can able to use for locator and here again we can able to use for hash and id name and i am going to use for fill And the fill I'm going to use for testing again. Okay. okay. And again, I'm waiting for some time. And then I'm closing more my browser. <clears throat> See, now testing is written here. Okay. Our test case is successed. Okay, there's a 
way we can able to without frame and with frame we can able to identify our shadow DOM because the playwright is by default it support uh, more flexibly uh, for shadow DOMs handling okay comparing to any other languages okay this is all about for shadow DOM element identification in playwright okay I hope you understand this one. Please like my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. Thank you.